we often hear about climate change what is this climate change climate change the word means change in the climate so first we have to know what is climate climate is nothing but the state of earth system so we have seen about different systems in our earlier classes so earth we can consider as a system which is having proper input output elements interactions and all so if you consider earth as a system climate indicates its state state means there will be certain parameters uh, what are the conditions at a particular time for example we can say that at a particular time this is the average temperature of the earth's surface this is the pressure like that uh, different parameters are there so it is a state and the change in the climate will be called as climate change how we can tell that climate is changing first climate climate itself is the average of weather conditions say about 30 years normally we will take like 30 years so if a particular type of weather exists for a uh, for an average of about 30 years we will call it like a particular type of climate so what does this weather mean weather means the short term changes in the state of the atmosphere for example we can tell like today was a sunny day so today's weather was sunny tomorrow it may rain so tomorrow's weather is rainy weather like that it, this weather can change from even minute to months so this range is from minute to months it will change when that particular pattern of weather exists for a particular longer time it will say climate for example we can tell like our country india has a tropical type of climate in himalayan regions it is subtropical type of climate like that different classifications are there for climate and we know that in the earth system this climate has keep on changing <coughs> see earth originated about 4 billion years ago so from that point onwards we are experiencing different type of climate on the earth uh, we have had glacial periods interglacial periods so during glacial periods the overall temperature will be very less and there will be ice cover covering almost the full earth surface in the glacial periods this ice cover will melt and temperature will be increased so there were many cycles of glacial and interglacial periods in the earth and this present climatic system we are particularly monitoring the climatic system from about 1800s that is if you are taking from 1880 up to 2000-2020 and if you are measuring the temperature temperature we are measuring is the surface temperature it is the average so we will monitor it for the full year and in an year average surface temperature including land and water surface temperature is taken and we are plotting it we can tell that it has increased by about 0.8 degrees celsius so average temperature is around 14 degrees celsius see from 14 degrees celsius it is changing to almost 15 degrees celsius you may think that it is simply 1 degree celsius in change but earth system is a huge system and we are telling the average temperature so this small change in temperature is large enough to bring in many changes in our climate and weather system and this increase in temperature we commonly refer to as the global warming so this global warming has caused the, a climate change it is from about 1800 to present we are witnessing a climate change and this climate change is different from the climate changes that earth has experienced before how this climate 
change is essentially human made that is anthropogenic we saw in 1800s we saw industrial revolution and the developments post industrial revolution have changed the many earth systems including its bio geochemical cycles and that have caused the recent climate change so when we are hearing news about the climate change we are referring to the latest climate change that is anthropogenic which is marked by the global warming So what could be the natural causes of climate change that we have experienced before during our glacial and interglacial periods? There were different natural reasons. First is related with the sun and its activities. Sun's output may change sometimes related to sunspot activities. So the sunspots are the regions having greater radiation, greater amount of energy and it occur in cycles so whenever there is sunspot we will also face relative climate changes and it can be related to earth earth it can influence in three ways it is its eccentricity inclination and precision inclination eccentricity and precision what are these terms eccentricity means the property of the circle and ellipse for example we are uh, our earth is rotating around the, the sun in an elliptical path sometimes the path itself changes it may come more close to the circle and it can be more elongated that means its eccentricity changes with this change in eccentricity earth's climate system will be affected what is inclination if we take the earth like this this poles and equator equator will be like this and if we are taking a horizontal line from the plane where it is rotating the sun there is an inclination for about 20 23 degrees Celsius there uh, or 16 uh, somewhere around that there is an inclination in the earth axis that will bring about different seasons on the earth surface it was in a straight line with no inclination or the earth surface would have faced the same type of climate all the time but this inclination will bring in different changes and this angle of inclination changes so that can cause the climate change what is precision precision is exactly uh, you would have seen some toys used by children to play there is spinning toys called top and we will rotate the top but it won't rotate in straight line like this but rather it will wobble so this wobbling is uh, denoted by the time precision for example, at present in the axis of the earth is pointing towards the north star. This north pole points towards the north star. Sometimes it changes. So it changes from this side. It may point to another star. Like that, with the years, this angle also changes this angle also changes at present it may be around 23 or 20 degrees Celsius and this angle changes it makes that change is called precision changes like this changes in the earth rotation and astronomical reasons will cause different <coughs> changes in the related climatic systems and this were the natural reasons whereby climatic changes occurred in the evolution of the earth and another reason is in the earth itself earth movements plate tectonics volcanic eruptions for example 
example we know that the present configuration of the our continents have happened uh, during a cycle they were in a single continent later split and came to the present locations like this movements will change the regional climate of the continents and volcanic eruptions also can cause climate changes a lot of dust and aerosols will be generated and this will block the solar radiations and cool the earth so we can say that on such volcanic eruption have resulted in the extinction of the organisms like dinosaurs right So they become extinct because of the climate change related to a huge volcanic eruption happened in past. Like that also different changes occur in the earth systems which will cause the climatic changes. The natural reasons we have discussed they are related with earth's orbit and earth's rotation. The eccentricity, inclination and precision changes. These are collectively called as Milankovitch cycles. And it is named after the scientists who discovered it. If these changes happen periodically and combined it may change in it may change periodically and that period is called Milankovitch cycle which may occur in once in 22,000 years and now we have discussed the natural reasons for the climate change now let us move on to the human induced climate change for engineering services general studies video lectures visit www.iesgeneralstudies.com For mechanical engineering video lectures and question and answer discussion visit www.getmap.com